A video taken at the Los Angeles County Museum of Art shows museum visitors at a pottery and ceramics exhibit. The video is one small piece of visual data the Salk Institute will examine to find out how people interact with art objects. Professor Tom Albright, a neuroscientist at Salk, says the people in the video are converted by a computer to stick figures to analyze their movements. Like pointing or standing in front of an object for some extended period of time or turning and talking to a friend who came into the museum with them. And we can then look at the frequency of all those events. When they occur, when somebody moves through the gallery, what's the path that somebody takes as they move through the gallery? Cameras are installed at the top of the 20-foot walls that surround the pottery exhibit to capture the movement of visitors. Albright says the experiment, funded by the National Science Foundation, has two goals. One is focused on creating a good museum exhibit. So how can we optimize the placement of objects in the gallery to facilitate learning on the part of the visitors. Then there's the scientific part. The second goal is to understand how people behave, how visual information and access to, to the motor access to the space uh, affects the choices they make. Victoria Boehner is director of exhibition design at LACMA. She says this study will provide museum directors with the kind of information about visitor behavior they haven't had before. This study will provide us with some really great, you know, data that um, we can then use towards future decision making. And, um, and then when we go, well, we know that this is what happens, but we want to do something else anyway then at least we know what we're doing. Of course, museum directors and curators have already spent a lot of time thinking about what's the best way to display art and how to arrange art objects in a gallery. And as we move around it, the work really changes. You know, when you're standing straight on, it has rounded corners, and yet as you move around, you see the sides have sharp edges. In La Jolla, at the Museum of Contemporary Art San Diego, senior curator Jill Dossie shows me an eight-foot sculpture made from resin. It's called Diamond Column by Dwayne Valentine. The sculpture is clearly the star of the exhibit. It is translucent and changes color as you move around it and as the gallery's natural light fades or brightens. Dossie says just putting two works of art in the same space makes a statement about the story you want to tell. So we think carefully about how we are creating meaning and the stories that we are telling. We think about the pacing of art objects, how much space goes between them um, to you know, create a comfortable pace and a certain kind of cadence in the room. We think about sight lines and how we are going to um, you know, stage an artwork to pull a visitor forward into a room. And she says you got to put a sculpture in a place where a visitor isn't going to back into it as they're looking at a painting on the wall. Dossie says she looks forward to seeing the findings of the Salk Institute study. I think it would be fascinating to, to see what they learn because in my experience visitors um, you know navigate the museum in their own idiosyncratic ways but it would be helpful to know um, you know the pace at which people are moving through the galleries and how often um, artworks really do serve as conversation pieces. Salk Institute scientist Tom Albright says scientists will manipulate the exhibit at the LA Museum of Art to see how that affects visitor behavior. Descriptive text along with artwork will be shortened or expanded. The location of artworks will be moved around. The exhibit they're studying is called Conversing in Clay, Ceramics from the LACMA Collection. It'll be open until May 23rd of next year. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.